Right, in, in this video we're going to still look at simultaneous equations, but in this video they're not both going to be linear. We're going to have one equation that's linear and one equation that's non-linear. So that could mean that the other equations are quadratic or where the two variables are a product, like in this example here, this first one. Or you could have one linear equation and one a cubic or a fourth power, but we're not going to deal with that. Just have to trust that they're solved in the same way, but the problem that they'll have more sets of solutions, so it'll just take longer to solve, so best not to do it in a video. So the first example here, We've already got y the subject in this equation, so that's good, I can substitute that straight in to here. If y is that, then I can rewrite my first equation as this, and then I'll multiply out the brackets. That's what we get. So... That's a quadratic equation, and we know how to solve them. We'll move the 2 over, and that becomes minus 2. And then, basically what we do is we can factorise this. And we'll get two solutions. We'll get x equals plus 2 x equals and that one will be x equals plus 2 and that bracket x equals x minus 1 so we've factorised it there and if you multiply them out you do get that so that is factorised right and then x equals minus 2 or x equals 1 but we're not done yet, they're just what x values. And say that we're, say here when we've got an equation like that, even though it doesn't look like a quadratic, when you do the substitution, like here, it turns into a quadratic. So therefore the equation's non-linear, when you've got a product of two or more variables. So those are our x solutions. But now, what we need to do is we need to, we'll put these back into this one. So then we've got x equals minus 2 plus 1. Well, minus 2 plus 1. That's all we'll have to do, which is pretty easy. That's minus 1. So then if x equals minus 2, y equals minus 1. And if x equals 1, that's just 1 plus 1, which is the easiest problem in maths that I can think of, which is 2. So you have some sets of solutions. Notice how in the first video we had one pair of solutions. We had an x and a y, but here I've got a set of x and y and another set of x and y solutions. So that's for the first equation. Next one, you might be able to just look at this and solve it, but we're not going to do it that way. We're going to do it using the proper method. And so I'm going to rearrange the linear equation. I'm going to get x equals 7 minus y. So I'm going to square that. quite long so I'm just gonna maybe shorten this a bit 
I'm not gonna write this all out, we should by now be able to see what this is gonna come to. This is gonna come to 49 minus 2y. Minus 2y, minus 14y. Because we're getting a minus 7y, and then another minus 7y, so that's 40, minus 40 in y. And of course we'll get with plus y squared, and we've got another plus y squared, and that's equal to 25. And then, of course we'll simplify this, and I'm going to move the y squared to the front. So I get 2y squared, minus 14y. And then I subtract the 49 off both sides. So then I'm left with minus 24. Yeah. No, why did I do that? I don't subtract that. I'm not moving them over there. I want to get rid of this here. So I'm subtracting. The 20 minus 25, that just comes over here. Now, that's actually a nasty equation and we know how to solve it, so I'm not going to actually solve it. I'm just going to give you the solutions. The solutions you'll get for this one if you actually solve it is y equals 3 or y equals 4. Then will be your solutions when you solve the equation. And then by using them in here, we'll see that if y equals 3 then x equals 4 because then they add up to make 7 and then if y equals 4 then x equals 3 because that makes 7 so these are the solutions for this set of equations here last example now Now in this example they're both equal to y, so if these are both equal to y, therefore these two expressions must be equal. So we can say x squared plus 2x minus 3 is equal to 2x plus 1. And then that's just a quadratic which we can solve by rearranging. So then we get x squared, and then when I move this minus 2x, I like 2x over here, that becomes minus 2x and those cancel out, and then this is minus 4. So then I've got x squared minus 4 equals 0, that's the difference of two squares, which you should know, so that will factorise to x plus 2, x minus 2, so then x is equal to minus 2 with the first one or x equals 2 from the second bracket <coughs> and then we can substitute these into both these values into either the equations but we're going to do the bottom one because it's easier and then that'll find where the corresponding y value for each one of these so I've got y equals 2 Minus 2 plus 1, and the other one we're doing is 2, 2 plus 1. So, basically we just work these out, that's minus 4, I'm going to multiply them, and then the plus 1, which is minus 3, and then we we'll get 5, and then we we'll get 4 here, plus 1, which is 5. So that's for the 2. So when x equals 2, y equals 5. And when x equals minus 2, y equals negative 3. So that's 
sorry as I was. Two pairs of solutions for <coughs> them two equations. And I just wanted to say that if your equations can't be solved how they are, you just simplify them first and then you solve them using either one of the methods, whichever is appropriate from the videos that I've just taught.